Production professor here. So ProPresenter is great, but doing songs bilingually in ProPresenter can be a challenge. But with the help of some great minds over on the ProPresenter Facebook group, and as well as one of my incredible volunteers, we've been able to find a way to do bilingual songs sustainably with both languages showing up on the screen. So let me show you exactly how we do it here. So here is the end result. Uh, you can see that we have the Spanish language and the English language lyrics on all the slides here. And the great part about it is, is that it is easily changeable to just one language. So we could change it right here to English just by changing the theme. And we also have Reflow Editor access to both languages. So you can see right here we have Reflow for Spanish or for English. And then if we go back to show, change the theme to bilingual, we now have Reflow access for Spanish. So let me show you exactly how this is done. And now this is something that we found on a Facebook group for ProPresenter. Um, but then my incredible volunteer, Chris, was the one who really took this and made it to a sustainable thing for us here at church. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to theme. We're going to hit edit. And then we're going to take a look at our presets right over here. And so now you'll see that I have a couple. We have several different presets just for the different looks, but ultimately... These are the two that matter. We have English and we have the bilingual, all right? Because we have an English service and a bilingual service. So in the English theme preset, we have two text boxes. We have an English and we have Spanish. Now you'll notice the Spanish one is actually hidden down here off screen. And the English one is up in the, uh, in the slide where we can see it. Uh, then when we go to the bilingual variant of this, you'll notice that these have swapped places. Now the Spanish is here, the English is here, and they're both on screen. The layout of this doesn't matter, but what matters is the layout of the text objects over here. Whichever one is on top is the one that the reflow editor is going to access. So when we uh, have a song in this bilingual theme right here, and we hit reflow, the Spanish lyrics are going to show in the Reflow Editor, just like we showed you earlier. When we have uh, a song in the English template and we hit Reflow, the English lyrics will show up in the Reflow Editor. So now what does this mean whenever we want to bring in a brand new song? So we just have to keep this arrangement in mind. So I'll go ahead and show you that right now. So we're going to go up here to search. Uh, let's type in a song that uh, we want to bring in. So let's say we want to bring in um, This Is Our God by Phil Wickham. So we're going to go ahead and start typing that. Uh, here we go. This is the one we want to bring in. So let's click it. We're going to hit import. All right, so this song, the lyrics are in English. We want to make sure that we import this the correct way. So what that means is we want to make sure that we're importing this using an English theme. So I'm going to click on the bilingual presets here, and we're going to choose the English theme that we created earlier. Now this is the one where the English text object is on the top. This is the important part because they're English lyrics from Song Select. We wanna make sure that we select the theme preset that has the English text box on top. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and select that now. We're gonna hit uh, import. And so now let's go over to show. Let's find the song that we just imported. So this is our guide. We got it right here. Let's open it up. All right, so we have our English lyrics right here. When we hit reflow, we see the English lyrics, obviously. And then when we go into uh, the slide editor, we can see that we have the English text box on top, Spanish below. Now let's say we want to add in the translation for that. What we would do is we would pull up the Spanish translation of this song on uh, Google or wh whatever site we want to get it from. We would go over to the edit slide here, well, first we would go and change the theme for this song over to bilingual. So we're going to change it from English to bilingual now. And now, oh, I did it for just one slide. Let's try that again. So I'm going to click down here, theme, bilingual. So now you can see that the English text box has moved down to the bottom, and we have a blank spot up here where our Spanish lyrics will go. So when we hit reflow now, it's all blank because it's waiting for our Spanish lyrics because in this theme, the Spanish text object is on top. And so the reflow editor always goes to the text object that is the uppermost one. So now I can start typing in our Spanish lyrics. 
you know what i'm not sure what they are for this song i have to look them up but so spanish lyrics and you can see it's already coming up on the top right here and so another common question that we get asked is whenever we do bilingual lyrics uh, whether we're showing it in the English theme or the bilingual theme, what does stage display look like? Uh, that's a great question. So let's go ahead and take a look at that now. Um, we're going to go ahead and uh, let's launch this slide here. Blessed Assurance, Jesus is mine. First slide of Trust in God. Now this has bilingual lyrics. In fact, I'll show you by changing this, this to bilingual. You see it does have both text boxes in there. All right. So when we're on bilingual mode, let's see what stage display looks like. So we're going to come over here. Let's uh, screens, configure screens. Uh, I'm going to change stage display to something I can see right here with us. Uh, maybe this screen here. So I'm going to change stage display to that. All right. So right now you get, well, this doesn't quite fit the screen, but you get the English lyrics and then you have the Spanish lyrics of that, of the current slide. And then you still have the next slide preview with the English and the Spanish. And this monitor is not built for stage display, so it would show the entire thing on our projector over there. Uh, but so that's what it looks like for the bilingual theme. But whenever we change this over to English, like this, it actually shows the exact same thing because stage display is pulling both text boxes at the same time, no matter what our theme shows up here. So whenever you're doing an English song, if you have it saved bilingually, just keep in mind that your stage display is always going to show the Spanish lyrics, even if you don't have it set to show here. And so this is a very viable way to do bilingual songs in ProPresenter uh, and then be able to go back and forth between English and bilingual depending on what your service calls for. So if you have any questions about this, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Um, I love talking about this, and I think bilingual ministry is incredible. So uh, take a look and let me know what you think.